now we're getting into some harder problems where we don't just have a 1 in front of the x squared. So first thing I always check in all these problems is if I can pull anything out of every single term. In this case, we can't, okay? I can't just start off using my two sets of parentheses because I have this 8 in front of this x squared. So what we're going to do is what we call the pyramid. I'm going to make a pyramid using my first and last term. My first term is 8, my last is 5. So what I'm going to do is multiply those. 8 times 5, I get 40. Now inside of the, the pyramid, I'm going to list my factors of 40. I have 1 times 40. I have 2 times 20. I have 10 times 4. And I have 8 times 5. Now I look at this middle term. I need a negative 14 out of my four options I have here. And I look at 10 and 4. It's the only way for me to make a negative 14 is to have a negative 10 and a negative 4. So that's what I'm going to split this up into. I keep my first and my last term, and I'm going to split this middle term into negative 10x, negative 4x, and I still have that plus 5. Now the next thing I need to do, I have four terms. So what I need to do anytime I have four terms is group. I group the first two, I group the last two. In my first set of parentheses, I need to ask myself, what can I pull out? What do, what do they share? What is their greatest common factor? I look at my numbers, 8 and 10. I can pull out a 2. And then I can also pull out an x. Therefore, I'm left with 4 and an x minus 5. Now, I want 4x minus 5 here. I notice I have a negative 4x plus 5, so everything is what I need but the signs. So since I need to change the signs, I know I need to pull out a negative, and I don't need to put anything else, but I'm going to put a 1 there, just so I don't mess up in the end. And that negative 1 changes all the signs. So now I have 4x minus 5. That was my goal, because now I have two terms, and they both have 4x minus 5. So now I'm pulling out 4x minus 5, because they both have it. When I pull out a 4x minus 5 out of this term, I'm left with 2x. I pull out a 4x minus 5 over here, I'm left with minus 1. So there's my final answer.